It was only 30 years ago that Poland introduced martial laws. And today is Poland one of the leading countries in a united Europe. David Zenia Poland, its six-month presidency of the EU draws to a close. As a non-Eurozone member leading during the Eurozone crisis, to use a Polish expression, they were lunging at the sun with a hoe. Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk saw Europe on a precipice and at a crossroads. Jeśli słyszymy dzisiaj w Europie takie zdania o tym, że trzeba zrewidować podstawy, fundamenty wspólnoty, to to jest najwyraźniejsza oznaka tego, że kryzys, kryzys jest także w naszych sercach, nie tylko w naszych bankach. MEPs noted that the polls made progress on a single EU patent, the Eastern Partnership and financial supervision. However, socialist leader Martin Schulz called for more EU powers over the markets. Mit einem ökonomischen, mit einem Finanzmarktsystem zu tun, das fährt mit dem Ferrari, im wahrsten Sinne des Wortes. Und die Kontrolle, wenn sie nationalstaatlich bleibt, zockelt mit dem Fahrrad hinterher. Das ist das Problem, was wir haben. Dutch MEP Bas Eichout noted the lack of leadership at the Durban Climate Summit, but conceded it was not a simple issue for the Poles. They are around their economy is around 90% dependent on coal, so for them it is of course a big transition. But I think they should use this agenda to tell the other Europeans, okay, we want to change. December 31st marks the last day of the Polish presidency, by which time they hope the summit treaty changes will be officially approved by the 26 countries, although there could be a little resistance to it back home. This year's European Parliament Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought went to five people involved in the Arab Spring from Egypt, Syria, Libya and Tunisia where Mohamed Bouazizi's suicide started the revolution. In order to honour the rem and remember Mr Bouazizi and all those who lost their lives in the struggle for freedom and dignity in the Arab world. I would like to ask all of us for the minute of silence. Every year, more and more people from different EU states get married, leading to some 140,000 divorces. Sometimes the parents who don't get custody of children resort to kidnap. The European Parliament's mediator has produced a book on her two years of trying to find amicable solutions. Abbiamo avuto 98 richieste eh, per cui poi si è aperto un dossier e ehm, riguardano quasi tutte le nazionalità eh, dell'Unione Europea, prevalentemente ehm, si rivolgono a noi eh, i papà. This month's EU-Russia summit follows elections that saw big losses for Vladimir Putin's party, but foreign policy chief Catherine Ashton told MEPs that working together is still important. 